porch. Woody, can you talk a little bit about coming off the loss to Penn State and just the energy portrayed by your team tonight out there? Well, I mean, it's a, it was a total team effort, man. I mean, when we left Penn State, we knew that was a game that was a very winnable game, man. And I couldn't get them over the hump. And we came back and had a couple of days to prepare for Ohio State. And, you know, they were a little down when we first got back. It was kind of grabbing and fighting and pushing to get them to erase that loss and get ready for Ohio State. But we were able to rebound from it, man. And I thought that this is probably the best game we played all season in terms of how we defended and 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 how the ball moved offensively. And you know, we did a lot of good things on both sides of the ball tonight, which was which was really nice to see. Mike. Hey, Mike. Uh, just a guy taking two months off and then coming in and playing like that. That's that's really unusual. What is it about Trey that? What did he do? that make, make him make such a big impact right off the bat? Well, I mean, again, before he got hurt, he was in the rotation, guys. He's been in the rotations since the Bahamas. So, you know, we knew that was a piece that was missing. But, again, my theme has always been next man up, you know. And and we patiently waited for him to rehab to get back. And and he responded to nice, tonight, which was kind of nice to see. Coach, your thoughts on the way Trace played 27 and 12 and completely outplays EJ Liddell, another you know all Big Ten level player. What did you think of the way Trace played in this game against that level of competition? Well, again, I, I expect him to play like that. You know, I mean, he's shown that this season that he can produce numbers like that. And so, you know, I, I was kind of harsh on him more than anybody coming out of the Penn State game because, hell, he had five rebounds. And, you know, that can happen, you know, being a 6'9", 6'10", kid like him, like himself and that's very athletic, he's got to rebound the ball. You know, we know we can, he can score. You know, we get, it, get him enough touches, so I'm not concerned in that area. But he, he defended the rim tonight with five, six blocks. I mean, that's, that's who he's got to be. You've discussed, uh, you know, last two weeks the importance of protecting home court. I'm just curious about uh, – your thoughts on maybe how it impacted the game in the second half down the stretch and even the crowd a little bit in that game? Crowd was fabulous. I mean, hell, the crowd is who they are, man. You know, Hoosier Nation has always been great, you know, here in Assembly Hall. And they travel well when we on the road. But, you know, I mean, guys, when I look at games like this, man, it's just, you know, you got to beat good teams and you got to win at home, man, uh, if, you, if you're even going to give yourself a shot at the Big Ten. And, you know, Michigan State sitting at the top. I mean, there are a lot of good teams at the top right now, but we just got to take it one game at a time. You know, Minnesota's next. We got to go back and start preparing for them after we break this tape down tonight. Coach, uh, Trace talked about just watching Trey Galloway and his preparation when he wasn't on the court and, like, lifting weights and um, running on the treadmill. What, have, like, what, in terms of, what in terms of that have you seen from him just in terms of uh, the time that he was out and, and preparing to come well, back? Well, he, he did all the endurance things uh, that we would do. He just didn't, you know, and he did everything with his with his right, with his left hand. Yeah, with his left hand, basically. And, um, you know, so you, you'd never know. I mean, he played at, what, 18, 19 minutes. You, it was like he played 40 minutes the way he played. Um, you never know how a guy, when he's injured, how he's going to respond coming back. Because, you know, game practice is just – it's not the same as game speed. So – but I thought he was right in tune with what we were doing. And, boy, he made a lot of great plays, man, on both ends of the floor. To go back to Trace, when you mentioned being harsh on him after the Penn State game, obviously one of the things he said when he came back was he liked that you were picking his game apart. What do you like about the way he responds to challenges? I mean, well, I mean, you listen, when you consider one of the best players in the country – you got to accept challenge. Um, you know, I, I've always believed, man, all players, you know, want to be coached. You just got to push the right buttons to coach them. And that might not even work sometime. But, you know, he's a good young man, man. He's coachable. You know, he, you know, when I can, when I have to go at him, I go at him. I mean, and he responds. And I thought tonight 
was a prime example of that. Mike, I know this team's not about one person, but whether it's Trace Jackson or Trey Galloway, but when you have someone like Trey who comes in and plays like he did, did tonight, what does he do for, the, uh, for some other guys on the team that may need to, to see that maybe? Well, again, I mean, it's, hey, I'm going to play guys that, that play hard. That's, that's how you build a win, winning team. And if I see that you're not giving me that, you got to come sit next to me. It's just that simple. Um, you know, you would think some of the young guys after watching, you know, Gallo being, you know, being out that long, man, I mean, and coming back and producing like he did, that's, that's got to be encouraging for these guys to pick it up some too. But it was a total team effort. I thought race was great tonight. I mean, we were good across the board, everybody that played. Coach, I know after the last game you said you wanted to set up some actions to create more looks for Parker and Miller. What did you think about the looks you got? I know they didn't knock them down, but also how, how important is it that they start to score off the bounce, which I think they both did tonight? Well, I mean, we got – they got good looks. You know, I mean, we didn't shoot the three ball again tonight, so we got to go back to the gym and start shooting more. I mean, which we've been doing that, but maybe we got to shoot a lot more, man. But um, – I don't know, you know what I mean? I ran some plays for them tonight, you know, just to to see if they could respond. And, you know, they just missed some shots, man. But I'm going to keep pushing them, and I'm going to keep going at them and going to them, and they'll eventually make them. All right, Coach, thank you.